This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Linda. Bonjour, everyone. Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Rettinger. We are filming on location in Geneva. Up this week, the LG G Flex might be able to shoot 4K when it gets Android 4.4. The Oppo Find 7 might be bringing some megapixel monster in the form of a 50 megapixel shooter. And the iPhone 6 might finally go edge to edge. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's start rounding things up. I do like things with curves, so let's start there with the LG G Flex. Supposedly, when the phone gets Android 4.4, hopefully in the next few weeks, it'll get another 4 in the form of this many Ks shooting video. So the story goes, according to our friends at Phone Arena, they're able to uncover an LG user agent profile with shared video at 2160p, which is 4K. Uh, unfortunately, though, the same tipster said there will not be slow-mo 120 frames per second, so that kind of stinks but 4K on a phone that's already out would be a really welcome surprise and certainly would help booster sales uh, of the G Flex. There aren't that many phones out there that shoot 4K, really. Uh, the highlight one is the Note 3. So if this would bring that to LG's flagship phone, it could be pretty sweet. And also it's bendy. For those of you that have been following the Oppo Find 7, you know it's going to be unveiled later this month. And according to the Chinese social network site Weibo, Oppo has been treating the uh, viewers to slow teasers kind of day by day, week by week. So the latest image that was teased on Weibo by the Oppo folks of this pretty baller old school Ford. It looks like a pretty decent picture, but if you go through and check out what the resolution it is, it is 8160 by 6120, meaning this could be packing a 50 megapixel shooter. So it's going to brush to the side the Lumia 1020 when it comes to the megapixel wars. And it looks like we could be getting some crazy awesome specs as well on the Oppo Find 7. So we're expecting the Oppo Find 7 to be packed to the gills with awesomeness, including an edge-to-edge 5-inch -edge screen, which might have two options of either 2K, which is really one of the first times we've seen 2K on a phone, or 1080p. We will know everything, though, come March 19th. What do you think? Oppo Find 7 might be giving the company a uh, second look, maybe for in the market for an unlocked smartphone. Um, could be a kind of a cool way to go, especially with the latest specs. Love to hear your thoughts, leave them in the comments. And last but not least, what would Rumor Roundup be without an iPhone 6 rumor? So, earlier this week, we saw what could be a leaked screen for the upcoming Apple device. So, a few things that are interesting. First, it looks like the iPhone 6 is going to retain a pretty similar footprint to the iPhone 5, 5S. A little bit taller, but it's going to give it that little bit of a larger screen, allegedly 4.7 inches. It's going to go almost totally edge to edge, uh, which sounds kind of cool, but not sure you're going to hold it, manipulate it, but but hopefully uh, Apple will have thought of something when it comes to that. There's been some speculation though, the pictures we saw were fake as the home button cutout was a little bit off center, but then that was also countered by perhaps we've just used a prototype to identify the parts and where they came from. So take it with a gigantic, probably fist-sized grain of salt. Uh, but edge to edge is rumor we've been hearing for quite a while. So we're hoping that that might come true. Rumor also has been, we might see two sizes of the phone, a 4.7, even as big as a 5.5, hopefully with a pretty baller, almost indestructible sapphire screen. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at lynda.com. Lynda offers thousands of easy to follow engaging tutorials taught by industry experts to help you learn software, creative, and business skills. Membership is just 25 bucks a month and being online you can access it anytime you want on your schedule 24 seven. Being online also means you can learn at your own pace, either taking the whole course or just do it in little bite sized tasty bits. You can learn things like web design, programming, photography, video editing, 3D rendering, whatever you want to do to help better yourself, lynda.com has you covered. New courses are added every single week, so you can always be up to date on new trends, new technologies, and whatever might be coming in the field you're trying to learn. Try lynda.com free for seven days by going to lynda.com slash technobuffalo. That's L-Y-D-N dot com slash technobuffalo. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoy it. Please give the video a thumbs up. We will definitely appreciate it. And until next time, I'm John Renger from Techno Buffalo. I'll be back in the U.S and I'll see you in the next video. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.